Hi there guys, it's Michael Costa here from Production Expert and I've got myself a copy of Hit and Mix Infinity which is an amazing atomic editor which is the term they use. It's a way of getting inside audio in a way we've rarely seen before. So this enables us to bring in whole tracks or just single instruments and treat them and edit them as if they were just like MIDI tracks. So let's start off with a whole mix. And we bring these in with a process that Infinity calls ripping, so they are called rips. And it is quite a time-consuming and CPU-intensive task. So Infinity recommends a 6-core or higher computer. I'm actually using a, a 2015 4-core iMac, so I'm below that specification, but that just means we have to wait a little bit longer. I'll go through the process here, and then I'll jump to one I've already brought in. So here's what that would look like. I'll switch back to here, grab this and drop it onto the interface. And this is what we get. So it's prompting me what to rip. So in this case, I would want general because that's what we would use for stems, full tracks, that sort of thing. But just as easily, we could specify it's a guitar recording or it's a bass recording or a single note recording. And also in this window, we can choose either the whole file or we could specify a minutes and seconds for each one if we know exactly what we want to rip. But in this case, I would want to rip the whole file. Now, I've done one in advance, as I've said, so I'll just switch out of here and turn on my mix here that I have already imported. So as you can see, we get a nice multicolored interface and each one of these little blobs indicates part of the track. So I can click wherever I like and play the track. And I can click on any of these blobs and it'll play me just what that section of the song is. So there's a bit of vocal there. There's one bit of the vocal and then it jumps down to that note. So just as a simple thing I could do here, I can click on that note as it's selected now and I can just use my up and down arrows to change the pitch. So now if I play that section from here. Your mind is amazing. And as you can hear, the pitch of the vocal changes, but all the other instruments remain virtually untouched. So let me undo that. What I want to do now is find a section where I could perhaps harmonize that vocal. So let's jump around. Your spirit can dance on air. Somebody who make things happen while others just stand. Okay, this bit here. Okay, so we've got that top note of the vocal there. This time I'll copy that and then paste it right on top of itself. So copy and then paste. Just doing that with keyboard shortcuts. Now I have the copy automatically selected because I've pasted it. So now again, I can just use my arrows to go up. So now I've got it up there and let's play that section back. Right, so I can keep pushing that higher if I want. So, almost an octave. Now, I have barely even done anything here. This program is so incredibly deep. We're just giving you a really quick overview at the moment. There's just so many ways this can be used. I've given you barely one or two. Now let me switch over to Pro Tools as a second example here. And I've got a rough mix of a song here. I'll just play you a bit. And we're gonna have a look at these acoustic guitar tracks. So I've got two mono acoustic guitars there that make a stereo pair. Here's what they sound like on their own. Okay, so I'll take off this EQ and these effects there. So now it's dry and sounds like this. Because that's what we're going to hear in Infinity. So I'll make a selection across these. Now there's a plugin that we can use to facilitate a Pro Tools workflow. So under Audio Suite, I've got it favorited up the top here. So I'm going to edit in Infinity and up comes this plugin. And now when I click on edit in Infinity, it will send it over. 
And that leads us back to this screen where we can choose specifically guitar in this case because that's what we've got. We don't need to choose a specific time because we're going to just use the segment that we chose in Pro Tools. So now I will just rip. And even that small section will take a little bit of time. So we'll jump straight through to the end. And here we are. And we are presented with the guitar rip now. And as you can see, it's all the one color because it's all the one instrument. So I'll play it back from here. And now we have access to all the same types of things we saw before with the full mix. So let's do some note changing just so it's nice and obvious when we take it back. Maybe I'll take this top note here and have a quick listen to that. There we go, it's just sneaking through all those little segments there. And maybe if I put that up a semitone. Okay, let's play that. And maybe the bass note here, we might drop that down a little bit. Here we go, down on the tonic there. Okay, a little strange sounding obviously, but you get the point. We can make the changes here. And then once we're satisfied, we can go to the file menu here, say update in Pro Tools and it exports that into Pro Tools. And now I can just hit update in the Pro Tools plugin there and it writes the change there. So now I can play my section just before and hear the changes in context. There we go, we heard the high note there and the extra sort of low note that we added down there written straight through. So the workflow is very easy, very fast. So that was just a really quick look at Hit and Mix Infinity. Hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video.